Hey guys, it's Heartstone. Welcome back to another FIFA 30 video. And today, I'm going to bring you guys a second inform player review or inform review of Miroslav Klose. So let's look at his, let's look at his on card stats. Yes, 79 pace, 85 shooting, 71 passing, 83 dribbling, and 91 heading. I brought, I brought him for 59,000 coins, but his price has dropped a lot. You can probably get it for a lot cheaper. And he's got four star weak, but three star skill moves. Plays for Lazio in the Serie A. He's German. He's a striker, and I played him in the 5 2 2 1 formation. So let's look at his, look at his in game stats 81 pace, 99 jumping, 91 reactions, and 73 strength. Also, 79 sprint speed are, are his main. Physical attributes, he's also got 87 aggression, 88 attacking positioning, and 68 vision. 89 ball control, 82 curve, 85 dribbling, 99 finishing down, that's really good. 96 heading accuracy as well, um, 68 long shots, oh, that's a bit disappointing. 97 penalties, 88 shot power, and 96 volleys. He has got a high attacking worker in a medium defence worker. It can also play him as a centre forward and he plays and he stands sorry at six foot. So guys, now we've looked at his stats, let's go a little bit more in depth about them. So as you guys can see, he has 85 shooting on his second informed card. Whereas on his first informed card he had 79 shooting, I believe. So that's an increase of six shooting points, which is pretty good. Um, you also got an increase of two heading points as well, so there are real, real big improvements on this card um, stats-wise. But you know, player-wise, um, let's go into it, right? So he's got pace; um, it's decent, all right. It's good for a uh, striker. It's decent pace with 79 pace. Obviously, for me, I would rather that he had 80 plus pace, but you obviously can't get everything in life. The one of the greatest things I love about this player is he can play in many playing styles. You can play him as a target man because of his 91 heading. You can also play him as a player who runs through defenders and you play through balls into him. And you can also play him in passing, passing sequences as well. So he's got great, great um, overall playing styles that you can use him with um he's also got 83 dribbling i believe and basically what this does it helps him to run even more faster than he is obviously um he kind of struggles to get past the likes of Lipe santana etc etc they're just so op but his aggression and strength does really help him out sometimes and I actually think that he would be good enough to play as a lone striker if we did have fast wingers with him. Because I did play him as a lone striker. Uh, I played him in the 5-2-2-1 formation, which meant I had two right a right forward and a left forward either side of him. And th what I did is I just crossed the ball into him. And it's a, it's a playing style that I never really use. I am not a crosser. By far, I'm not. Um, I had to adjust my game, adjust my game style to get the to get benefit mo the most out of him, because that is his main best game style: headering, crossing. Because 91 heading, he absolutely beast. He's got 96 jumping, 96 heading. No, 99 jumping, sorry, and 96 heading accuracy. Um, that's just pretty beast. That is absolutely unbelievable. He he climbs over defenders very, very, very easily. Um, he can probably, well his close range of finishing is relatively good, he does miss a few chances here and there but his long shots are a really big disappointment, as you can see from the stats, 6 to 8 long shots, oh so annoying, you know if we did have that long shot element, you know, he would have been probably one of the perfect players but because of that his long shots just don't fly as hard as I think they should have done. Um, even with the 88 shot power, they just don't go good enough and he's just not accurate enough to shoot from outside the box. Um, he's got a high second work rate and a medium defensive work rate, which is perfect. Obviously, obviously, if you're just being a bit, little bit stingy, you you rather that you had a low attacking work rate. But you, you can't ask for everything. I think his left foot's a little bit wayward in my opinion. He said he has a, a four-star weak foot, but I don't think that's actually actually a true sorry. Um, even though he did score a few left foot goals, it can be a little bit on and off his left foot. Sometimes it's like really, really amazing, but sometimes it's really, really dry. Three star weak foot, yeah, just standard. So as I got, as I said, sorry, um, his price is dropping quite a lot. He currently goes for about 45 to 50k. So if you were going to go pick him up, um, as I probably say in all my player reviews, pick him up 
a week after they come out so in a few days time go pick them up on Wednesday or Thursday because uh, this price will drop because the new team in the week and a team in the season will be out so definitely recommend you go get this guy I get, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 because he's such a beast in the air he can finish the only problem I have with him Sorry, half of him is his long shots and maybe um, his work rates and maybe his pace if I've been a little bit stingy. So if you guys don't mind making, yeah, if you guys don't mind dropping a like, we we we, yeah, we recently hit 250 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. So drop a like and subscribe to a Harp Star, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.